Hi everyone! Welcome to my first sketchbook tour. I completed this moleskin watercolor sketchbook over a course of a few years. I started it in 2012 and I finished it last year in 2015. Some of the illustrations in the sketchbook are inspired by Edith Holden and her book The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady and other ones are inspired just from me being out in nature and drawing what I see as I'm out on walks or hikes. This page shows some plants that I drew in Victoria when I was visiting my family. This is a plant I was trying to find for a while and I did a little ink illustration of it. This is a bunch of different types of bird's eggs. I was trying out different pattern and marks on them. Some skunk cabbage. So there's some color studies that I did along with drawings of some plants that were in my mom's yard when I was visiting her. These are field poppies inspired by Edith Holden when I was still learning how to paint. My first feather. I really like the idea of doing a page per month of what's in bloom that month of the year. This is a false moral mushroom that I drew when I was living up north in northern BC. And this is something different I was trying, just doing ink drawings with a sort of watercolor wash background. And some more eggs. And if you see that my style changed a little bit, that was me later on trying um, ink and wash with Windsor Newton watercolor markers, which don't react the same way as paint. This trio of butterflies. This is a page that I would have taken longer on. Violets and snowdrops, some fall mushrooms. And this is a page of seashells that I drew, and I painted it much later. And you can see there that I made a mistake, so I covered it up with a patch of paper and put the title on it is a good way to fix up your sketchbook if you do something that you don't like in it. These are a bunch of fall leaves that I was trying out, again inspired by um, a page in Edith Holden's book. And here's some more color testing, and this is some Virginia creeper that is quite nice in the fall where I live now. And color studies for a bird's nest painting, seeing how shadow colors worked over the blues. And this is a page I did sitting on a bench outside in November, and it was really cold, so you can see that I did it very quickly. And these things I found in Victoria in November, so not really that wintry. These are some color studies I did that inspired a set of Christmas cards I made last year. And as you can see, it jumps right to summer. There's been some time where I wasn't using the sketchbook. These are dahlias, and I used the Windsor & Newton watercolor markers for those. This little wren is an illustration from a wedding invitation I did for a friend. More from the wedding invitation, dahlias. This is a page that I covered up again, and I put that piece of paper over saying roses, and then I did a bunch of roses on the next page there. 
is a medley of different things I found in the fall. And this is probably one of the first landscapes I ever tried. I don't do a lot of landscapes, but sometimes it's nice to add in your surroundings of where you are. These are some wild ginger and smack, which is a tree I have everywhere in my yard. And already to the last page, some berries and hydrangeas, so sort of practicing with the scattered pattern effect of the tentacles there. And that's it. That is the sketchbook that took me from 2012 to 2015 to complete. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next video.